And it's the Americans, though, who are going to start with the scoring. And a positive start for them. Nick Lucina using the knuckles to angle it away from Marcus Bockerman. a bit of a delay to getting the next point started. And angled by Bockerman, wide of the mark, so the Americans take the first two points of the gold medal match. And it's not been a positive start for the undefeated Germans so far. Finally, do get on the board with Bockerman. Move yourself. Using the fingers to divert it away from Danhausen. Move from there, yeah? You're two. Not in front of camera. And Danhausen setting it for Lucina to deliver the thunderous blow. Helped it up, and Lucina helped it down with authority. The blocker just went to the right. And Lucina went straight down the middle. And Flugan finding a response after good work from Bockerman. The tallest player, Lars Flugen. He's got a really good lead. Angled well by Lucina, who played the supporting role really in the semi final earlier today with uh, Phil Dalhauser. Absolutely spectacular in the second and third sets for the Americans after a really slow start. Down the middle from Flugin. He's giving it a real good go in the early exchanges here. A couple of big attack hits for him. The deep defense just moved to the left. The net defense moved slightly to the right, and that left the gap down the center. of power there from Dalhauser. We saw him do it all in the semi-final earlier today. He was so effective and after a poor first set, so effective in the second and the third with these big attack hits, with the blocks, with his defense as well. Hey! Flugan rising again to finish. He really has found his range. At the start of this final, three of the Germans, four points. They've come from those Flugen attack hits. Too much on that one, though, from Lars Flugen. A little grimace of disappointment. He really was feeling it up until that point. in business pretty quickly. A real array of shots from Flugen, the 25-year-old German. Certainly looks in the mood for the final. Dalhauser putting it to the left as the defense went the other way. Well, Dalhauser starting to find his groove in this final. No 
Now he's on serve. Olympic gold in Beijing in 2008, and world champion in 2007. Really well angled from Pokemon. Directed away from Dalhauser at the net. It's far easier to say that than to do it. One. Just finding the line, it was pretty close. Out to Palusina, Dalhauser. Just getting the touch, it was very close. There's a bit of sand over the line, didn't make it any easier for the officials. Right back into the corner. And all the early indications are saying that we're going to have a very close gold medal match on our hands here in Doha. That's well wide from Marcus Bockerman, who came up with the last point. The uh, service attempt here was a good yard at least. Maybe not that far, a foot outside the line. It's right back into the corner from Flugan. Plenty of those big downward spikes, but this time helping it over the top of the defence. Dalhauser rising at the net. They're not able to keep that one alive. Back to back points for the Germans. Get them level at nine. And they really are rising to the challenge here against such an experienced team. Delicate touch from Nick Lucina. The man whose first couple of World Tour events. Back in 2005, did come alongside Dalhauser. Before then, uh, different levels of success with no fewer than six other partners. But here he is back with Dalhauser in the second half of 2015 and providing a wonderful combination. A real winning combination it has been. Lucina denied that time. The Germans take the point, get us level at 10. Great defence from Bockham in there. Dalhauser reaching over the net. Lucina really pulled the trigger with that one. An absolute thumper. Absolutely no chance for Flugan. They know they're in for a fight here. You remember when we talk about some time out kind of on court? Okay. It has been a very now close fought final so far. Lucina and Dalhauser certainly have met their match in Flugan and Bockerman. Three, two, one, up! Two teams, six to no in the tournament so far. And uh, it's played out so far here in the first set of this gold medal match exactly the way you'd expect it to. Point for point, very close all the way. And uh, plenty of things to talk about. Okay, you can do this. You can do better. And the first time out of the final. One finish, first set. We try to make slow motion over. Don't forget. Yeah. No, we united those two for the first please. time in a decade at Long Beach for the Grand Slam in August and took silver. Fifth in Poland and since then they've won gold or silver in four straight tournaments. And it's going to be five in a row. And the only uh, 
question. The only answer they need to come up with is, is it going to be a silver or a gold here in Qatar? Fluking over the top of Dalhauser. The Germans hoping that they can snatch the gold from the Americans. And certainly are the underdogs here, no doubt about it. But they're full of confidence. That's wide of the mark from Dalhauser. The Germans have a two-point advantage, which in the scope of this final so far has been a pretty big one. The team has been afforded any breathing room. Well, three points advantage now for the Germans. And this is their largest lead here in the final. They lead the first set 14 to 11. And the timeout called. Nick Lucina and Phil Dalhauser want to make sure that. This situation we doesn't worsen the for them the as we approach the latter stages, perhaps. Of this first set. They're still looking relaxed, looking comfortable. And hoping to grab the gold medal with one hand at least. What a wonderful event from here. Six wins from six so far for Flugan and Bockerman. And six wins from six so far for Lucina and Dalhauser. Those two got their first five wins in an average time of 36 and a half minutes. It then took them 51 minutes to get the job done in their semi final earlier today. Won their first 10 sets of the competition before winning the semi final 2 1. Dalhauser provides the power punch. And the USA get a much needed point to close the gap. Just off the right forearm of Bockerman that time. He's going to try and answer back here. And he thought he found the line. He's going to take another look at it. We're going to take another look at it. Did it touch the line? Doesn't look like it. Very close call, but one the officials have got right. And the Americans have come off the timeout to win back-to-back -back points and to get within one. <laughs> and Flugen goes long. A real disappointment for the Germans as they throw a three-point lead away. We're back level at 14. Two of those three points. Efforts that have been very, very close to finding the line, but haven't quite been able to do so. It's fine margins in this sport at this level. Plenty of power that time from Bockerman. Going across.
hovering above the net to deliver that with real force. We're level at 17 in the first set of the final. It's the first set that's going all the way. Right back into the corner from Flugan. He's had his radar start set pretty effectively throughout this one. Lucina's radar a little askew. That was well long for Nick Lucina. Trying to angle it over the top of the defence at the net. Dalhauser with the power again, but wide of the mark. The Americans really frustrated here off the top of the net and that carried it wide. Three set points now for the Germans here in the final. And Dalhauser denies the first. Remember Flugen and Bockerman have only lost one set. In 13 so far. And they're very, very close here to taking the first set of the final. Hey. And they do. Bockerman with the set, Flugen with the finish. The Germans with the first set of the gold medal match. Very impressive throughout to beat Lucena and Dalhauser 21 to 18. Flugen started with wonderful confidence, athleticism and accuracy with those attack hits. And he was able to maintain that kind of form throughout the set to leave Lucina and Dalhauser disappointed. They're needing to find a response yet again. They have fallen behind in three of their last four matches at this tournament, the Americans. And they've come from behind to win all three of them. So that's the warning for Flugen and Bockerman. As the Germans, though, take the first set of this gold medal match. Ladies and gentlemen. And now the Americans, Lucina and Dunhauser, facing a must win second point. set. We try. Hey guys, slow motion all off from her side. Wait. Three, two, one. Up. Oh, slowly, slowly. Pick it there from Lucina, but he was doing damage a little bit more than Dalhauser was in that first set. Just wonder if Phil Dalhauser is going to show us the kind of form he did earlier today here in the second. Great start to the second set for the Germans. Flugen picking up right where he left off in the first. I do. It's been a fantastic performance from him so far. Denied that time though by Lucina. The Americans on the board and a set that they have to win. Actually denied by the top of the net. Lars Flugen. Drops down the wrong side of the net. As far as uh, the Germans are concerned, both of them going for the same ball. Flugen then out of position to try and recover. Of authority. He's got a game face on, a face that says he means business. Feel the most 
serve to serve. He's been a little more effective with those than Dunhauser has been so far in this final. Morgan going down the line. Dunhauser unable to prevent it. The Americans really haven't found their flow yet. Flugin certainly has. Five, five, two, three. Losing out there with the joust to the net to Dalhauser. He comes up with a big point for the Americans. Gets them ahead by two. He really was commanding the net in that semi-final earlier. He's not done that here in the final yet. Maybe that's the start. It's not the way to follow up. The serve from Lucina into the net. Every single match on this court today. The semi-finals, the third place bronze medal playoff have gone to an deciding set. This is the final gonna follow suit. Five, three, six, five. And the Americans have made sure at the start of this second set that it's still on course to do so. Are unable to prevent that one. Flugin in full flow. Really hasn't been a dip in his form at any point yet in the final. That consistency from the number one for Germany could prove to be the difference. And that's on a couple of occasions now that we've seen big plays and then the follow up serve into the net. The Americans and now the Germans. Flugen denied by Dalhauser, and then wide of the mark. Now the second bite of the cherry. Dalhauser is starting to become more of a presence at the net. And that's an ominous sign for Flugen and Bockerman. Dalhauser there again, but this time just dropping wide. Lugans having to put a lot in to get the better of Dalhauser now. There's Dalhauser once more. We saw three or four of those in the semi-final on the turn. They're able to swat it down and in. It's the first time he's come up with a shot like that here in the final. He's finding the right spots of the net as well. And the Americans lead by three. And there's another one. Big play, followed by an error on serve. A bit of a break for the Germans as they get back within two. Dalhauser right into the net. Big relief for the Germans. And they knew that the Americans were starting to put a run together. Back into the corner it goes from Dalhauser. Maybe he just likes to leave it late before coming to the party. Dalhauser at the net again. That's what he was doing earlier today. That's what he's done throughout his whole career. Putting up the big defensive wall. Dalhauser's dominance is back. Back in good time in this final for the Americans. Hey, 
short that time though from the big man. Understandably disappointed. It was good defense initially to back off and help keep it alive. And then he couldn't make the most of it with the attack hit. You can see the frustration. That's a lovely touch from Lucina. The Americans certainly finding their comfort level now. In this second set, they lead by four, 11 to seven. Hey. Dalhauser there again. Just wasn't doing that at all in the first set. And it was a similar story this morning in the semi-final. And then all of a sudden, in the second set, he comes alive. And now his presence is growing and growing in this final. Such an off-putting presence at the net. Lugan finds a way past him this time. And that's getting harder and harder to do. Dalhauser got to the net quick. Lugan though just finding a way past the outstretched right hand of the big American. Seen it down the middle, Bockerman unable to hold it. We reach the technical timeout with a 12 9 advantage for the Americans. Lugan's touch in front of Bockerman, perhaps putting him off a little. They're in a pretty good position in terms of this second set. The Germans being awarded with that last point trail by three. Big puff of the cheeks from Phil Dalhauser. Mars Flugen perhaps becoming a little less effective the longer this second set is wearing on because Dalhauser has grown as such a blocking presence. At the net. Twelve to nine, the lead in the second for Lucina and Dalhauser, having lost the first. Joust at the net between Flugen and Dalhauser. And again, it's the former Olympic champion who comes out on top, and the Americans have their four point advantage back. Touched by Dalhauser onto the fingertips of Flugen. The ball then flying out to bounce. Dalhauser at the net again. Once more as well. They won't get the point that time, but the Germans are having to work harder and harder to find a way around Phil Delhauser. Those breaks are fewer and further between now. Dalhauser with all the power in the world across court and into the back corner. Wonderful execution. Lugan just had to get his head out of the way of it. Hey. 
back into the corner. One for the Germans as well. Really important they don't allow this deficit to grow. And they can't afford to go point for point either at this stage in terms of the second set. Dalhouser right across court again with that power. He really is turning it up and turning it on. In the second set, Phil Dalhouser, the 35-year-old, still with so much athleticism. Well, that one is right into the corner. The Germans are having to measure things to perfection. They get any joy here in the second. As long as they can stay within touch and not let the Americans run away with this one. They can make it tight, make it tense. Too much on that from Flugen, though. The Americans have their four-point advantage back, and they're only five points away from forcing it aside in the set. Flugen over the top of Dalhauser, and Dalhauser didn't get a touch on that one, but it's that presence growing at the net that plants the seed of doubt in the mind of the opponent. It's a conundrum that the Germans are struggling to solve right now. And they do find an answer on that occasion. Flugen had to provide a really soft and delicate touch and execute it to perfection. Just wide of the hand, right down onto the line. into the net from Lucina. Back to back points for the Germans now. They half the gap to two. Talk about seed of doubt. Maybe planted in the minds of Lucina and Dalhauser now. Dalhauser denied at the first attempt, but touching it back over. For the point of the second attempt. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> point for Bockerman coming in behind Flugen. Dalhauser setting it for Lucina. He provides a finishing touch, and the Americans just three points away with a three point lead now from taking the second set and forcing it aside. Sliced attempt from Flugen at the net. Just here that was reached so well by Lucina, kept alive. He was able to pick himself back up and finish. What a wonderful match, ladies and gentlemen. We have really four warriors. In it's a gold medal match at the FIVB. Kata Open in Doha really heating up now. We have a timeout on court. The Americans hoping to force a deciding set, which will be first to 15 with the gold medal on the line. Those two want it done in straight sets, having taken the first 21 18. The Americans have certainly improved here in the second, though, no doubt about that. Phil Dalhauser has picked up his game. 
now spent most of his uh, career partnering Todd Rogers and Sean Rosenthal. Gained remarkable success, Dalhausen. No fewer than 29 gold medals on the World Tour. Flugen and Bockerman have managed just two between them. Bockerman wide with that one. The Americans get the point and get within two, forcing that decider. Bockerman well set. And plenty of room to aim for. It is set point now, in fact. Five set points for the Americans. Denied the first by Bockerman. There's plenty more to come, though. Lucina able to get it off the side of Bockerman. The Americans take the set 21 to 16. And having lost the first set yet again here in Doha, they win the second and put themselves in a position to continue their undefeated run. So they lost the first 21 18, they take the second 21 16. And we've got a 15 point deciding set now to decide the gold medalists here at the FIVB Qatar Open. Really good response from the Americans in that second set. After a very disappointing start. Dalhauser in particular, with his presence at the net, the key. We've seen it providing some really important moments as well. Dalhauser with some big finishes of his own, but it's his net presence that's made life more difficult for Flugen and Bockerman. It's something that uh, he wasn't doing in the first set. I'm just wondering if we have to keep it up now in the decider. Flugen pretty consistent throughout the first two sets for Germany, but Starting to find life a bit more difficult in terms of bypassing Dalhouse's defense. This was the deciding point off the side of Bockerman. Lucina putting the finishing touches on the second set win. side it goes the way of the Germans Dalhauser with the set Lucina rising but the decision going the other way towards the corner, but wide from Flugen. With this second set only up to 15, and this third set rather only up to 15, every point means just a little bit more. And of course, with the gold medal on the line, every point means everything. Way off Flugen as he was retreating to the backcourt, unable to prevent that one. The Americans have the edge in the decider for the first time. Another one of those turnaround spikes from Dalhauser. 
Really good technique with those. Lucina unable to prevent that one. Flying to his right. Lucan back in business. Skimming the top of the net. Took a bit of the pace off it, but still Lucina unable to prevent it. Say back in front. First two point advantage of the decider goes the well, the Americans. We've seen it just able to bypass Bockerman at the net and only just got a right hand to it. Watch it! Hey! Dalhouse are dominant at the net again. The cry of frustration, a huge cry of frustration for the Germans. Dalhauser reaching across to the left again. He pumps the Doha air with his fist. Lugan lets out a scream. The Germans perhaps can see the gold slipping away from them. Remember, they hadn't lost a set before today. Ten sets from ten. Then they win their semi-final 2-1. Surrendered their first set, they've surrendered another set here in the final. They're into a decider for the second time here today. And uh, having edged their semi final decider, they're falling short in the final. Flugan is really feeling it. Can they compose themselves and focus again? Maybe, but can they get them the better of? Lucina and Dalhauser, well, that's another question entirely. Thank you, all dancers on stage. Thank you. It's Dalhauser on serve. Lucina unable to hold it, Flugen. Continuing to flourish. We got an indication as we went to the timeout how frustrated Flugan is, but he's responded and responded very well. Back to back points now for Flugan. The Americans will be disappointed with that one. The gap's been close to one. Three in a row for the Germans. Bockerman relieving all of the tension. A cry of frustration. Three points ago. And now a cry of delight for the Germans. of the mark. An awful lot of good work for Germany in that rally. They really made the Americans move on defence, but they couldn't finish it. That 
one finds the line from Bockerman. There's a little room for error there. He tried to just squeeze it down the line to the right side of the blocker. Did that beautifully. Too hot to handle that one for Flugan. Dunhauser with the power right at Flugan. Nothing he could do about it though. Two teams undefeated in Qatar and inseparable here in the final. Lucina okay. going across court and edging the Americans ahead across the halfway point of the deciding set. It's an 8 7 lead for Lucina and Dahlhauser, the top seeds in the competition, edging their way closer. You just get the feeling they could be. A few more twists and turns left in this one. Bokkerman driving it. We've seen it. Getting a piece of it. Dalhauser too, but not enough. They can't get to the serve effectively. The Germans have the lead nine to eight. They've come from three down in this decider. Lucina with the power, rejected by Bockerman. Huge block from Marcus Bockerman. The Germans have the force right now. Bockerman and Flugen feeling it. Well, what a win this would be for them if they could get the better of. Phil Dahlhauser and Nick Lucina. They trail by a couple of points as we head towards the end of the deciding set. Lucina and Dahlhauser with an overall sets record of 12 to 4 before this final. They've needed deciding sets in each of their last four matches. Having to come from behind in three of them. And winning all of those three. They're having to come from behind again here in the final. But they're finding it difficult in the third. Lost the first 21-18, won the second 21-16. Now they trail 8-10. to In a set that will decide the winners of the FIVB Qatar Open here in Doha. Let's see if the Germans can continue their run. Lucina driving it down and emphatically ending the Germans' run. There's a huge point that one for the Americans. From three down, the Germans led by two. If they'd have gone up by three with only four points left, that would have given the Americans a huge challenge. Instead, they're within one. Not for long, though. Lugan has shown us a bit of everything. Off the knuckles that time. 11-9, Germany lead. Dalhauser with a big, big response.
And they need all of their experience right now, Lucina and Dalhauser, to get them out of this situation. And that one just long, they thought it touched the line. Lucina's going to go and have a word with the official. It was very, very close. The Germans were confident enough to leave it. And they're rewarded with the point. 12-10, just three points away from touching goal. A bit of support in Doha for the Americans. It's Bockerman on serve. And what a big serve it is. And what a big finish it is from Dalhauser. Dominant Dalhauser deals another blow. Tremendous execution from the big man. And the big serve as well when the USA really needed it. Some of his serving has been wayward here today. He's made quite a lot of errors, but not that time. Power and accuracy. And too much for Bockerman to deal with. We're level in the deciding set of this gold medal match. 12-12. Bockerman going head to head, nose to nose, toe to toe with Dalhauser, able to come out on top of the net. Plowed it right through the American between the arms and off the top of the head. And look what it means to Marcus Bockerman. The Germans within two points of gold. Lucina able to angle it to the side of the blocker. The level at 13. And it's a deciding set in the final that is going all the way. First to 15, it is win by two clear points. Here goes Bockerman, denied by Dalhauser at that time. Lugan takes over and has a go of his own and provides the finishing touch. And the Germans, Lars Flugan and Marcus Bockerman, have themselves a gold medal point here against the hugely talented and hugely experienced Nick Lucina and Phil Dalhauser. Can the fifth seeds knock off the top seeds and claim the goal? It's goal for Germany. Seven wins from seven at the FIVB Qatar Open. For Lars Flugen and Marcus Bockerman, they get the better of Lucina and Dalhauser to take top spot on the podium. 15-13, they win an enthralling deciding set. Having won the first 21-18, lost the second 21-16. It is Flugen and Bockerman who prevail. They won their first 10 sets in a row at the start of the tournament. They've taken the semi-final and the final in deciding sets. And they're really enjoying their moment in the spotlight as well. The gold in Fujo in April, their first ever FIVB event together. They've both gone on to have the best seasons of their careers. Silvers in the Rio Open and the Charman Open in September. And now back to the top of the podium again with gold here in Doha. This is how they completed the job. Dalhauser setting Lucina. Denied at the net by Bockerman. And there's the celebration. Despair for the Americans. Lucina and Dalhauser have to settle for silver. And they keep their run of five straight gold or silvers going. 
but it's second place for them, top spot for the Germans. Absolute ecstasy for Flugen and Bockermann. And they have really come together and provided a fantastic combination. Flugen's array of shots was to be admired and Bockermann was a real presence at the net in that deciding set. All of that tension eased, and now they can really part it. The gold medal is here at the FIVB, Qatar Open in Doha, and Lars Flugen and Marcus Bockerman, and we can hear it from them right now. Well, here we are with the gold medalist. Gentlemen, congratulations, Lars. First of all, a very tough three-set match out there against a very good side. Yeah, very, very tough. I mean, uh, I think these uh, two guys are the best players in the world right now. Um, they won, uh, I don't know, three out of five from the last tournaments, and it just feels awesome now to beat them. Uh, and Marcus, you've had a great year. I mean, that's your second gold. You've got two silvers as well. What do you put this this change down to? You, you've studied, started winning things. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this year is the first time to the semi-finals, and it's a uh, big experience to just do it that way, and we continue doing it, at least at the Opens. And of course, uh, German team won here last year, you guys won here now. Got, uh, the German guys get a bit more attention after the, from the girls, finally. Yeah, I hope so, I hope so. Yeah. And finally, Lars, tell us a little bit more about your hat. You've been wearing it all week. It's slightly different from most people's headwear. What's the story behind it? Yeah, that's my uh, lucky hat. I got it from my mom when I was around five or six years. Uh, so that protects me from sunburn and holidays. And that's the only one who, that fits. All the other caps are falling down. And yeah, I love it. Well, it's brought you a lot of luck this week. It's been fantastic watching you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.